Here we are at Twickenham for the game that everybody wants to see. Host England against Wales. It's bigger for Wales. The Six Nations at the Millennium Stadium earlier in the year. Which of course that England triumphed it. Of course, a whole new ball game. But that for him, for Wales, of course. Ben Youngs. Farrell looking to go after it. He's also looking for a penalty, but I don't think there was any chance of that. Bigger, having caught for the mark, goes long, and Burgess. Retrieves for England. Well, it got there. Alan and Jones claims. And there's a little chip in behind the England defence, and Brad Barrett goes back, and Mike Brown comes forward. But Wales hit hard at the ruck, and they've got the turnover. Backwards, but they might be able to reset. The Youngs brothers release it to Burgess, who tries... Strong defence from Wales, five metres out. Well, inside England's half, it was Scott Williams there, it was Jamie Roberts, the two centres. The ill-discipline from England, and I thought, oh my goodness, ominous, and that was a fantastic strike from, from Farrell, deep out. Alan Wynne Jones on the restart, winning it there, superb in the drop goal in a World Cup. One. Bigger going crossfield, well, it was maybe his intention, got a bit of a slice on that, still might work out. Bigger looking for right down the middle here, and that's exactly what he's got. Ben Youngs. Johnny May just got in front of his man there, but that is brilliant play from Bigger. Comes off the hand. This time, Youngs went for the high ball and whoa, just owned it. Good block from North. You can see May in the background complaining, but absolutely fine. And Youngs being beaten just by the sheer speed and pace of the take. Big hit from... You might as well play it, see what they can do. And with Farrell deciding to kick long, it wasn't a penalty, just a knock-on, so the advantage was never going to last long. Bigger goes after his own kick. That could bounce around. Together, I've been impressed with the game plan, and here's this hit. Burgess will have been waiting. You can see the look on Jamie Roberts' face. He... Liam Williams. Gareth Davis to Dan Bigger. There is some space there behind Try score and May. He's going to have to play it. May is taking on Wales here, finding Mike Brown. He had to find Mike Brown there once again. He's responded in the best possible way. And Bigger now can kick into a position where Wales will throw into a line out inside. Referee the ball back in the number eight's feet. Wants it used, and Vinopola does. And Bigger. Reduces the gap to uh, six. There's Parley. Ben Youngs to Farrell. Burgess. Just about one by the Welshman. Did well. Stay, six. Damn bigger. You can see why. Here comes Liam Williams. Tried to go on the outside. Testing pop. Last November. And really blossomed. Been threatened to do that for a while in Welsh colours, but he is the man now. Pounces on that. Marlon pounces on Davis. So here's Bigger. Well, one of those nights, isn't it? Yeah. Farrell. And not his best, and Bigger. Farrell trying to make amends. Bigger. It's there again. It's almost inevitable every time. It'll only benefit Wales. Another attacking threat they have. Shows the depth in Welsh ranks. For Wigglesworth, Wigglesworth on the inside. He's robbed short. Farrell was trying to get there. England might from Wigglesworth. Kept the ball alive, and it's Chris Robshaw just couldn't get the ball to Farrell. It's an effort that would represent 
corner hat. As well in attack, with just too slow in the rut. Here's Jamie Roberts, draws the man, and away goes Lloyd Williams, out of position, the scrum half on the wing, and here's Gareth Davis, he's picked it up and he's scored! What a try for Wales! And bigger, again putting it back on England, under eight. 19. It's inspired, decimated by injuries, inspired by the squad. Adversity. I won't say it's drawn them together, they're clearly together. They didn't need the adversity, but they now have a penalty. Wales just inside the England half. They are scrapping, they are fighting for everything, and they have the host rocking here. Huge pressure on England and their tactics. Has he got the half-penny distance here? He's certainly got the adrenaline. Absolutely. This is going over. He'll never have a better moment to have more adrenaline in the body. Bigger, he's got it, it's there! We asked all week, what is Warren Ball? I think we have the definition. They will just keep playing, it is serving them well. They are rattling England to the core here. Players out of position, bench used. He's all aware, done Wales it. are going to win this. They've done it. Bigger, off the field, Wales have done it. They have beaten England at Twickenham in England's World Cup. Clearly an emotional Warren Gatlin there, and why not? And was drained by the experience. He complimented his man of the match, Dan Bigger. He was absolutely immense. Sonia again. Have you been taking kicking lessons from Lee Halfpenny? <laughs> Look, it's, um, it's, it's just a huge, huge effort. I mean, for us to come here in England's home ground, World Cup, no one gave us a hope. Uh, a million and one injuries. Uh, it's not about me here today. I, I, I feel a little bit cheated taking man of the match because this was a huge, huge squad, team, management effort, and um, this will be certainly shared with all the boys today. At 10 points down just after the break, did you still believe then that you could do this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this team, how many late wins we've had over the years, and um, we always seem to make things difficult on ourselves. We gave so many penalties away. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we kept believing, we kept sticking to the structure, and uh, yeah, this is, this is the best day rugby-wise of, of probably all of our careers. What were the emotions as Gareth Davis went over and you knew you'd had a, a simple conversion and it could well win you the game? That, yeah, that was the relief, the simple conversion. I didn't fancy it from the touchline, I'm sure they were that. Um, no, look, it was just, we kept going, we played some good rugby on times. I think both teams played some decent rugby and um, what a spectacle. I mean, this is, coming out to that uh, before the before kickoff was truly special and something which will, you know, they've tricked them, have done it amazing and um, yeah, just, just hopefully we can push on on Thursday now. Well done. Thank you.